Okay, so as promised, part two. Once you've done your reflections for 2021, then you sit and you start to think about the word of the year. Now, this is a practice. It's also called One Little Word. You can Google it. There, You can Pinterest it. There's a lot of information, a lot of YouTube videos. It's a very common and a popular practice. But the idea is to have a, have a word whose energy you want to invite into your life, right? So for the last 10 years, I've chosen words such as prosper, thrive, open, silence. And guess what my word of the year was for 2021? You'll never guess. Ready? The word of the year was influencer. I swear to God, the word of the year was influencer for 2021. And yes, I went viral on TikTok in April. So be careful, be very mindful of the word of the year practice, okay? Don't pick something like courage as much as you want to. Don't pick something that, because what happens is whatever you want, you're going to get lessons to help you step into that. So be careful, but again, pick a word of the year. Think about how you want that word to show up in your life, in your different areas of your life. And you may want to specifically think about the different areas of your life, right? Your career, your love life, your spiritual life, your physical health, your relationships, etc. You may also want to look up the definition of the word you're considering and see if that's what resonates with you. And if you like it, great. If not, look up synonyms, look up those definitions until you find and find and pick a word that really resonates with what you want to invite into your life. Sorry, there's a part three. I'm going to talk about how to do your manifestation list for the coming year.